Hey guys, it's uh, Jay Snowshoe coming at you. I'm going to be uh, winterizing my uh, Cougar by Keystone. It is a bunk model here. Uh, since we're saying it's a 28 RDB with bunks. And I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough and how to winterize your trailer and uh, everything you're going to need to do to winterize it. So. Uh, this is a close-up of it, but it's my fifth wheel. So something I've already uh, done already, actually, this is where your hot water tank is. Uh, before we get to that, we'll unlock the storage compartment to get to the hot water um, tank bypass valve that we will need to close which I already have but I'd like to show you guys where it is well, I guess I had this open already so okay and this is um, winterizing I've already dumped and cleaned everything always have this loose there's always screws here and here that I've already taken off. So we'll come in here. Here's your hot water tank. And hopefully we got enough light in here. Try and shed more light. All right. Hey guys. So I'm gonna try and get into here. Oh hard to see but this here is your bypass valve that bypasses the tank so when you're winterizing it you're not going to put any of the antifreeze in your tank uh, so this going up is the valve that's turned and it goes up to bypass so we won't get any antifreeze in our tank because the main line on the hot water side goes up here and if you wanted to go through the hot water tank again we'd open this valve and then this would go back in but this closes it and bypasses the hot water tank once you have done that we'll go to the hot water tank open this up and you'll have your either some some will have a plug in here or a anoid valve. And th this is what it is. So, and then you just release that, take out that, so you can drain your hot water tank for the winter. So that's already done. So from here, we're going to go and uh, set it up from the inside and uh, get it ready to start uh, winterizing here through the pump, run all the antifreeze through the lines, through the faucets, taps, uh, and into the drain traps there. And then there's two, uh, two valve, uh, two hands that are under the trailer here, under your hot water tank, that will open up at the end once we're done to make sure we are drained. All right, guys, I got a couple things set up here. Um, okay, on this unit, we have actually have an outdoor shower. Most units, most or I believe all units will have an outdoor shower. So when we're starting on winterizing, we're going to start from the back and work our way to the front of the trailer of everything that needs to get winterized. So first will be the outdoor shower. Second will be the outdoor kitchen. So we got a faucet here for the slide out outdoor kitchen here. And then we'll work our way to the inside. Inside here. Come on in. Then from there we'll work to the to the sink here. Do both sides. And then into the washroom. So we'll have the, the tap and shower to do. And then once the shower is done, we got to disconnect, drain it. And then also 
the throne. So, all right, uh, let's head to the back of the trailer here and we'll go to the pump. Um, it's in the closet here underneath on the floor. Uh, I actually made some changes here. This, uh, this door wasn't here. They actually had in here just a small hole cut out to get access to the pump, which is how do you really winterize it when everything's brad nailed down? You know, it didn't work for me. It doesn't work for these small mitts. So I made a door here or this floor to re be removed of the shelf to get access to the pump. So our pump is there. I actually went and installed a three-way valve so I didn't have to disconnect the hose here to, to uh, plumb in my new hose to draw the antifreeze out of the out of out of the containers so we're gonna go ahead let's see how tight this is here but okay unscrew it there so I took the cap off um, that three-way valve you can pick up at any hardware store in the RV section or even at your RV store with in their parts and uh, you can install that very easy uh, I'd recommend it makes life easier when it comes to winterizing and you know this saves you I don't know how much money but one time I was getting some repairs on the RV when it was new under warranty and they were gonna charge me $50 to winterize it so we had words and if it wasn't for the warranty work uh, I ended up getting it done for nothing because this is a it wasn't my fault that they're taking so long to do the repairs and it was running into winter here didn't want to freeze the lines so at this point um, we got the antifreeze here so it's just winter proof water system antifreeze uh, for for your cottage or or your trailers once you have flushed uh, to drain the lines a lot of people will air blow uh, their lines out I've have done in the past and it's good to do that as well but I've uh, known a, a couple guys that have done that and still had uh, their fittings uh, crack so they still had residue of water left so just as a precaution I mean we don't use the water as drinking water it's more for washing dishes taking showers and for that I usually bring extra water with us so we'll open up the valve to start drying the drying from my hose that I put into the container for the antifreeze I usually use uh, one and a half sometimes two containers depending on how generous I am to make sure that uh, I have uh, got all my lines winterized so so we got the the valve open to start drawing with the pump and it's coming into the tank here so I'm gonna fire start up the pump and then we'll walk to the back and we'll start take a bit uh, it's already siphoning it's charging the lines because I have drained all the lines already it makes a difference the suck the tank dry you hear the pump it's charging there you go the pump is full the lines are full and we're gonna go ahead outside and start so we'll start with the cold water See, I don't ever really use this back shower. Very rare. So, that's the cold. So, now we'll use the hot water side. Might be, should be 
So that's the back. Okay, that, the shower is done. Now we'll move on to the back kitchen here. I think I've only so one again we'll use the cold. Got some water coming out. Really just gotta wait until it turns pink. And that should be good. Now we'll go with the hot side. Change color, run it for a bit. I just want to run a little extra. There we go. That is done. And we'll start on the next one. So here's your taps. Take out whatever you want. You'll end up wiping down your sinks and that afterwards too. Um, just to keep them clean from the pink stuff there, so cold water tap. And we're gonna run it down uh, both sides of the sink there, so we got to get the antifreeze in the trap. And uh, I'm gonna have to switch jugs here. So I'm gonna go ahead you just well can get away with one jug, but I did use one in a little bit, so I had to buy another one. So I'm going to switch them here, and then we'll get right back to winterizing. So while I'm switching, actually the jugs, I'm uh, just going to turn off the pump. Okay, jugs or containers are switched here. So again, I'm waiting for the pump to siphon some in there. It has. Pour there. Actually, since I've did that trap, I'll do the hot. Okay, now we'll go to the showers or to the bathroom here again. Pull this out and cold first. Get rid of the water. to the shower here. Always fun. Shower's done. So that was the cold. And then I switched to the hot. I went 
went back to the cold air just because I thought there was maybe a little extra. Give it another shot from the hot side. Basically, cool. that's done. So what I also will do, I will disconnect. I will disconnect the hose from the valve just to let the hose drain out as well. Yeah, and then I'll just clean this up before we put it away. Part to take to the storage, and then next we'll do the toilet here. So how much? Whoo, it's clean. So. Just the pump. Just enough. And then we got the antifreeze in our tanks, but usually I'll drain the tanks yet and leave the valves open over the winter. I mean, there's nothing to worry about when you're drained. Antifreeze has been already in. We could leave the tank valves open over the winter. Make sure, well, make sure you catch everything into a pail and just, uh, you know, let it sit over the winter with the valves open. This way, if there's any water, you don't have to worry about it freezing against those plastic valves. They are not the most friendliest to replace if you had to replace them. So it just uh, helps you for uh, just maintenance wise. And then now we'll go to the, underneath the trailer, those two de dead legs that we sh I showed you earlier. We'll open those up and drain those and then the trailer is now winterized for the winter season. Oh yeah, there is one more thing I need to show you and we'll just go to the back of the trailer. And that is your fill valve or your fill station where you uh, put water into your tank. So we'll go back there. So actually we'll go here and right in, this is my fuel station here for the tank. So we can switch it either way here, but that's the, this way's the fill on mine and downs for city water. So there will be some pressure here. So there's a little button you can push here. If you can see that white little tap, push that in. This way you get the water out of there and it also antifreeze because of the pressure. All right guys, um, I gotta turn that pump off here. <laughs> and then, uh, then we'll get back to uh, draining that dead lake there, those two dead lakes. All right. See that? I'm gonna drain those. Maybe a little pressure in the system from the pump. Could have opened up the valve, I guess. Uh, one of the taps. And I normally leave these. leave these off for the winter as well don't forget to put them back on in the springtime uh, you'll have your uh, o-ring fitting that goes in when you're capping it again and likewise with the hot water Right, and that's how you uh, winterize your trailer. Um, mine's a Cougar 
2015 bunk style um, now I just have to go to the back of the trailer and I'll just disconnect everything that I've done and we'll call her a wrap and I'll just have to put everything away hey guys there's also uh, one more thing I forgot to tell you guys and uh, hopefully you would realize it uh, your water tank just ensure you open your valve to drain whatever water may be in there and leave it open over the winter you just never know all right again um this is jay's snowshoe winterizing his uh cougar trailer by keystone and uh hope this video was helpful for you and on your winterize winterization needs and that take care please like and subscribe and share if this was helpful with you for you all right take care guys thanks